Katibu Mkuu wa Chama cha Jubili Jeremiah Kioni sasa namtaka Naibu Rais Rigathi Gashagwa kuwataja maafisa wa serikali waliohusika katika madai ya wizi wa shilingi bilioni 24 katika serikali yale kwa Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kulingana na Kioni muungano wa Kenya kwanza unatumia lawama kutoa timizia wa Kenya ahadi walizotoa On Sunday DGG promised that he will give us the names of the people who received money that was carried by police officers to a police air wings pale Wilson Masaduku. kwa Masaduku wale ambao walipatiwa hizo pesa na he promised to give the names by today Wednesday Wednesday bado haijaisha imebakia masaa sita kabla ya midnight na nataka kurudia tena. Alisema yeye mwenyewe atapatiana majina ya wale ambao walipelekwa pesa. Na masaduku. Na wale ambao walibeba pesa hizo ni askari wakitumia kwenda mpaka police airwing. Sasa wewe mwenyewe ujiulize wa Kenya. Askari ndio wametumia wametumia kuiba pesa za Kenya. Na askari ndio wanatakana kurida pesa za Kenya na zimelepelekewa watu ambao ligejia na jua na akasema atawataja leo usiku ama leo kabla ya saa sita ya usiku tunagojea but before that what has happened sasa tunaona tena saraka zingine ya kusema ya kwamba eh, ya tani alihakikisha ali kwamba pesa zimetolewa pali eh, ziko kwa jia ya isiofa the controller of budget has constitutional protection to his office all her office and we have also seen the dpp behave the same way if they succumbed to pressure other than what is provided for under the constitution then they have already breached the constitution or the oath that they took when they are was getting those offices na kitu ya kwanza wanatakana ni kujuzuru kwa sababu hawana uwezo wa kufanya kazi kwa zile maofisi hata wakati huu chini ya kampuni ya Rigiji na William. Kwanza kampuni ibaya kuliko serikali. Na tunaelewa ya kwamba hii ni jama tu ya kufuruga na kujaribu kuonjana ya kwamba serikali ya Jubilee haikufanya chochote chini ya uli, chini ya uongozi wa eh, awapati leader eh, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Kwa hivyo hii ni, ni vita ambayo tunaiona na ni kama lazima sasa tutijitayarishe. Hii kampuni imeafugua vita tu, hawana mambo mengine isipokuwa ni vita. We know that the 15 billion shillings that was with the drone was with the drone and it was aimed at specific ministries and specific projects within those ministries. Na haina maana ya kuwahada wa Kenya ya kwamba kuna pesa silipelekwa na askari airwing na ikaenda kwa watu wengine mabinafsi 